Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about resumes here uh, and about when you can put a job or rather a programming language on your resume. Uh, so this uh, question is from Catherine and Catherine says, uh, Hi John, really enjoy your blog and emails. Here is a question that I'll hope you'll have time to answer in one of your posts. I expect many people may be wondering about this. I've started to learn to code and I wonder how much training slash experience I need to legitimately put a language on my resume. For example, this fall winter, uh, I took a 15 week, three credit hour C++ course from our local community college. I got an A in the course. Now I'm considering putting C++ as a language I know on my resume. My journey is uh, continuing with self-study in Java and I plan to write an app and publish on Google Play. Once I do that, I will feel good about putting Java on my resume as a language I know. In both cases, I wonder if these claims will be seen as legitimate by hiring managers. Another related question is at what point do you draw the line of being a junior developer and a developer in a language? My background is in mechanical engineering where the pace of change is slower than in software development, so I think I might need to recalibrate. Many thanks for your consideration of these questions. So, uh, so Catherine, there's, there's two things here, right? So uh, the first part about putting a language on, programming language on your resume is that my answer is uh, whenever you want to. Well, actually, let me expand that a little bit. Whenever you want to be asked questions in an interview about that programming language, you, you can put anything on your resume that you want as long as you have any kind of experience in it at all. Uh, but, uh, but the question is not can you, it's should you. And, and the answer to that is based on whether or not you feel like you could answer questions legitimately about that if someone asks you about that. So um, you might not have any quote real experience with C++, but you can put that on your resume if you feel confident that you'll be able to answer any interview questions about that because I guarantee you if you put C++ on your resume, then someone is very likely to ask you questions about it. And, uh, and it's only going to hurt you if you don't know the answers, right? If, you, if you're not actually and have any proficiency in that. The same thing in your case you know, with Java. Um, I would certainly say if you've built a Java app and you put it on, on Google Play you know, uh, for the Android store, then that would, I would put Java on my resume. But again, it, it's all about being able to answer those questions. It's not, there's no like formality. There's no reason why that you have to follow any kind of rules or, or practice about uh, when you're allowed to put a, a language on your resume. You can literally put anything on there. Um, you know, obviously you can't put, you shouldn't put lies on there if you've never touched a programming language, but it, it's, you know, it's just going to come out in the interview anyway. So, so it, I wouldn't even really, you know, worry about that. As long as you're telling the truth, uh, that's, that's the number one thing. And number two, if you're comfortable about answering questions about that, right? Anything that you put on your resume, you should just assume that someone is going to ask you about. And so, um, and, and, and you know, a lot of people put like tons of stuff on their resume that they've just dabbled in. And, and for those, those people, you know, the, what ends up happening is they get answered, they get, they get asked all these questions and then they don't know the answers and then they look like, a, like they're just making up a bunch of stuff. Um, that won't happen to you if you know what you're talking about. And, and you also want to have a narrow focus anyway, right? You just want to, don't want to just put all this stuff on your resume because someone's going to be like, well, what do you do? And they're like, well, I do 15 different programming languages. Okay, well, that's impressive, but how does that apply? Like, they're, they're going to assume you're not an expert in any of them. They're going to assume that, um, that, you don't, that you're a generalist and it's much better to be a specialist like I, like I always talk to you or talk about. So, um, so consider that as well. Um, the, the second question that you asked about um, where do you draw the line between a junior developer and a developer in a language, um, it's kind of funny because really like when you look at job descriptions for software development, there's like junior developer and senior developer. <laughs> I don't know if there is developer, right? It's, it's, uh, it, it's all kind of like meaningless, right? Like there, I, I, I would never even, even really apply for junior developer. I would just, I would just call myself developer or and maybe you can't use senior. Maybe, you know, I would just call myself software developer, programmer, software engineer, whatever you want and not even worry. Like no one really needs to start at the junior level. Um, what junior means is that it means that we don't want to pay someone very much. That's, that's what it really means. Like, uh, because cause no one's really looking to hire a junior developer. What they're looking to do is to, to not pay as much. 
And so, so don't do that. Just, just apply for a developer position. Don't apply for a junior developer position. Um, and, you know, maybe, maybe you could do that, but I, I think you're going to have a lot more success just going for a developer position. Have a little bit more confidence. Um, you know, put, put, uh, teach yourself. Make sure that you're qualified for, for the position. But, um, but I would either go intern or developer. I wouldn't go junior developer. I feel like that's just uh, like it's there's there's not even really any definition of it. There's no point in doing that. So so don't do that. Just you know don't worry about that. And and, and just from from you asking these questions, you know, just in general, um, and I guess probably from your mechanical engineering background where things are a little bit more structured, right? It, it feels more like like a, a traditional engineering background. It's kind of like in the same thing maybe in the health in in the, like doctors and uh, you know it kind of is a little bit more of a formal rigid thing where there's clear definitions of these things um, and uh, I'm, I'm not a person that really likes rules and and, and like fake structures around things so um, and which is good because in the software development field you, no one can tell you anything like you can you can just be whatever the heck you want to be like you don't have to like you know ask these questions like you don't have to wonder should you you know is it okay for you to do yes it's all okay you could do whatever you want right you you you, you it's up to you you can choose it um, you just have to live with the consequences, right? Like, like I said, so, so don't worry. Don't, don't let someone tell you that, oh, you have to have X number of experience before you can be considered a non-junior developer or you have to have used the programming language for this long. That's all someone's opinion. Uh, the, the, the real thing that counts in this field is can you do the job? Everyone wants to know if you can code. And if you can code, if you can write the, write the code and, and produce the software, then you're going to find uh, you're going to find work, and, and people are going to want to hire you because there's a lot of programmers out there that can't. <laughs> and and I'm being totally honest with you. You'd be surprised. You would think that 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 they they just you know how could someone exist as a programmer that couldn't code? It's it's out there. So so just make sure that uh, you know you don't don't get so caught up in all this stuff. Just uh, you know do learn what you're supposed to do, and uh, and and make sure that you can do the job. And if you can do the job then you'll be fine. So thanks for the, the question. Hopefully that, uh, that answers your question and, and helps you out. And, uh, and good luck getting, getting a job in the software development field. Uh, if you have a question for me, just email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I welcome it. So go ahead and do it. Take care.